Welcome to Tech Brothers Dharma. In this video, we are going to answer this question how to remove duplicate records in Azure Data Factory. So, this is a very common question, and they would like to ask you this uh, actually explain a lot of uh, things about you, especially how much knowledge you have about copy activity, how much knowledge you have of data flow, and uh, some other techniques. So, so, think about that if they are asking you if you need to remove the duplicate records uh, from uh, some uh, file system, you know, so that you have a CSV file sitting there, or maybe you have a data coming through the JSON but there are some duplicate records you want to remove that. In that case uh, what you can do is there is no straightforward way by using copy activity. Copy activity does not remove the duplicate records. So, so let's say you have a source here and uh, that's uh, coming uh, as a uh, uh, right there so this is your file uh, such any files uh, such as CSV file text file uh, JSON files and all that and then uh, you are using copy activity there is no way you can uh, remove the duplicate records from there um, to do that uh, there could be some other alternatives uh, we can uh, adopt and in this case uh, let's say this is a copy activity so we don't do anything here we will load this data to maybe some uh, staging table so once uh, the data is in the staging table, that can be your Azure SQL uh, or uh, that can be your uh, any other uh, database. So once the data is in that uh, database, the uh, database uh, provide uh, a lot of uh, different functionalities uh, and uh, just uh, even by using uh, distinct records, uh, you know, uh, I don't have really shape for the database here. So um, uh, let me remove this. This is looking very ugly for the database. So, so let's uh, uh, take the same thing and here is the let's say you have this uh, database here and the uh, databases uh, mostly have all those uh, different uh, queries uh, that you can use uh, uh, to remove duplicates such as uh, you can use a uh, distinct and, uh, and or uh, you can use row number functions uh, and all those kind of things uh, to find out the duplicates uh, and then uh, uh, finally if you want to get just distinct records you get it and put into destination if you want to see like uh, by using row number functions uh, you know in the uh, SQL uh, uh, query language that can be used you know you can use group by uh, to find out duplicate records and all those kind of things uh, so if uh, data uh, somebody asks you hey we are getting the data duplicate data in the CSV files and all that and you need to remove the, those uh, duplicate records uh, you, by using copy activity that's not going to be possible but alternative will be taking the files loading it to some staging database uh, and then using the SQL queries uh, to remove the duplicate records uh, and then finally loading to the uh, destination tables um, so that's that could be your pipeline uh, read the data by using copy activity load into staging then finally write a store procedure that will uh, remove the duplicate and read from staging and writing to the destination uh, tables um, now the uh, Azure Data Factory, as you know, that copy activity is very cheap, uh, and uh, sometimes you have a large amount of files, uh, you will load them. Uh. So, this is the worst scenario works best. Uh, but as uh, there is no uh, transformation or activity available for us to remove duplicates, uh, uh, we have to go with another option, and uh, that option is called the data flow activity. Okay, data flow activity in the Azure Data Factory can be used. Uh, so, this uh, data flow you can use uh, and uh, use tons of other transformation uh, to remove the duplicate records. Uh, now data flows uh, you guys know that uh, it runs on spark cluster and uh, every time uh, you spin uh, the data flow activity it means uh, you are uh, starting a spark cluster so spark cluster billing is a uh, very different uh, so uh, once uh, you uh, have this uh, data flow started it's gonna use spark cluster that also you have to tell uh, with the depending on the number of rows uh, getting from the files and all that so how big the spark cluster so you need to tell computer for multiply for vc v cores or 8 or 26 uh, sorry 24 or 36 or whatever so you have to tell the billing comes uh, really expensive in the data flow so if I will be you I will probably go with the first technique if I need to load the data at the end of the day to the database if uh, I have to create the CSV files again you know I might go with the data flow as I said that data flow is uh, going to be expensive so it's a point uh, 274 per v core per hour so if you are using a uh, 64 v cores that uh, you can think of multiply point uh, uh, 274 uh, without memory optimization uh, and then uh, you can uh, multiply with the hourly rate uh, so that's uh, going to be expensive but I'm going to show you how exactly you can remove the 
duplicate records by using a data flow activity in the Azure Data Factory as well. Um, so let's take a look. Now we are here I have created this pipeline. Um, so I have a uh, uh, blob storage here. In my blob storage uh, I have the CSV sit file sitting there. So I go to containers here. In the container I have input container and uh, here I have customer test file. This file has uh, some records here. You can see that uh, I have uh, ID, first name, last name. So ID Amish Azad. You see that this is S is small um, and this uh, fourth uh, record is uh, where S is uh, uh, capital. Here I have a fifth record that's also exactly matching with the first record. The ID is different uh, but I'm gonna consider first name and last name to find the duplicates. Uh. So now I read this data here in uh, uh, data flow and I previewed this uh, data so I can go ahead and preview the data and now you will see that data coming here. So you have a uh, ID one, two, three, and then uh, you're gonna see all those uh, records there. Um, if I go further down, see right there, that's all the records I have here. Now next, uh, what I did, uh, I use aggregate. If I go to aggregate and you see my aggregate here, uh, it's uh, something like this. Okay, so I'm gonna move this a little bit here. So I can show you both things at the same time. Now I'm uh, grouping by by first name and then uh, last name. So I just added these two columns here. Now I'm aggregating uh, and uh, I gave a column name called count and then I'm doing a count and parenthesis parenthesis. Uh, this is exactly like a SQL. Hey, uh, select first name comma second uh, last name from this table and com sorry comma count and then uh, say group by first name last name. So this is exactly like uh, your uh, SQL and uh, if you go to the SQL how you write it you will say select f name comma l name comma count and uh, you can say asterisk here and uh, from dbo customer or whatever the table group by f name l name and then that's it so that's what we are doing here with the aggregator and now i can call this one as a count or cnt or whatever this is exactly what I'm doing here. I'm grouping by first name, last name, and then I'm aggregating uh, and creating a new column called count. Now, once uh, that's done, I use a conditional split here. So if you go to condition split, I connected my aggregate one with the condition split. And here I added a column called the duplicate. And I'm saying that if my count is greater than one, it means that record is a duplicate. If you guys notice here, now if I will preview the data, you can see right there, Amir Shahzad is the twice. So the count for Amir Shahzad is twice. But here is Amir Shahzad as well. But see, this is S is capital and this is smaller. So aggregate does work, is a case sensitive activity. So it is a, if you want to like ignore the case sensitivity, you can do that. You can convert uh, uh, all those column to upper or lower and then uh, use in the aggregator. So before that, use the drive uh, activity and uh, change to the small or lower um, uh, cases. Uh, and then uh, you will be fine. Uh. Now, as it is case sensitive, uh, it is uh, using armor with the S uh, uh, on here. Uh, uh, with the small that's uh, it's considering one um, and the other one with the capital S is considering another record. So now you see that if I'm saying a count is greater than one uh, uh, that means it is going to get me duplicate records here. So I went here I wrote this uh, stream so I'm splitting my uh, input uh, uh, into two uh, outputs. Uh, one is a duplicate where count is greater than one and then the other one are distinct. Uh, now you see that uh, these are the two um, branches and then I created a, uh, a sync here and I just wrote that data to the um, blob storage and uh, they gave the name to the duplicator. For the other sync I gave the unique records. Um, so you see I'm using the source then I'm using aggregate where I'm grouping by depending upon the column list and uh, using the count uh, to find out my duplicate records. Uh, then I'm using a conditional split to split the duplicate records and the unique records and then I can write to the destination. Uh. So that's your detailed answer. You can explain this pipeline uh, uh, or data flow activity details how exactly you will find the duplicates and then also uh, split them into multiple outputs. Um, now once I execute this uh, uh, output, uh, sorry, once I execute this pipeline by using this data flow, it created uh, two files for me. So it is uh, in the output folder and uh, you can see with the du duplicate file 
it has a duplicate record and you can see that first name last name and count is equal to two so that's our duplicate record and for unique uh, it has all the unique records uh, so see right there and simply I could have used a uh, select uh, transformation just to select only these two column or I can even remove these uh, um, counts if I don't want in uh, in the mapping um, so let's say I'm here I go to mapping here and uh, then uh, I can uh, do auto mapping and then I can simply delete the, if I don't want this count the column coming through so that's easy for me as well uh, I hope uh, you learned something out of this uh, and uh, it will help you to answer the question also it will help you to develop your uh, Azure Data Factory pipelines. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in next video.